Uh, you can see everything is white right now. And the first thing that I like to do is change from this kind of glossy white. So I'll take everything, just take everything in your scene. And then go to your paint. And personally, I like to do a roughness around like 0.6. And I like to do white like that. Uh, just to get rid of that, I don't like that, that glossy look. Okay, so the only thing you'll have first is your environment. And you might have a different environment, like you might be using one of these. So the environments look different. And that's the first type of light that your model is getting. So if you're not using a matte cap, then you're just going by whatever these lights are. And you can see they look very different. So that's why I usually use my... Uh, my custom one but if you use any one of these it doesn't matter when you're going to do lighting i would say turn the environment off uh that way um i thought i, I thought i turned auto save off yeah i whatever regardless of the environment i always turn it off uh, even if it's mine when i'm going to light it you want to go from black a lot of people have issues because their model doesn't look white even though it's white and that's because they don't have they don't turn the environment off and things like that so you turn the environment off and then you can add your first light so here it's the same window, so you just do add light. And uh, if your model is facing forward, usually this is a pretty good placement for the light. Uh, now this is a sunlight, so this is kind of just all encompassing coming from this way. It doesn't matter where this is at physically. It, all, the, all that matters is where this little white arrow is pointing. So I'm gonna move it over here because even though it doesn't matter where I put it, I like to put the lights so that they're in the general area so they look like they're where they're shining from. So of course, if I wanted to change it, I would just move this around like this. But this is actually pretty good. The only thing that I would want to do is turn the intensity up a bit. So I'll turn it up to like maybe 1.5, 1.6. And you can see here that it's looking way more white. I think I have subsurface on, so let me turn that off. Okay, so this is your first light. Now, uh, one thing that's tricky about lighting is if you want it to look how it's going to look when you render it, then you have to do post-process. So post-process, when you turn that on, you can see that a little bit more lights up, things like that. So there's a little more to your model than when you don't have post-process on. It's going to look a little bit different. So just keep that in mind. We don't need it on for now, but it does affect your lighting. It does affect how your model looks. So I just wanted to let you know. Okay, so this is our first light. And one thing that I always, that I like to do with my models is I'll press these three little buttons here and then put the softness on. Uh, I just tend to like more soft shadows. Okay, so we'll go back to the lights. This is the light here. And I like to call this a key because like this is like the main light. So we'll just call it a key light. So you can clone it. And now we have key one. And we can call this fill. Uh, sometimes I don't wind up using it, but we'll change the name to fill and then we'll slide it over, maybe right here. And then we want to light up this really black side because it's too dark. So we're going to fill it, just not as much as this. So we're going to twist it so that it's hitting that the dark side. And then you just turn the intensity down so that it's dark, but it's not black. So I would say that that's successful. So we have the light side coming from here. This side is a little bit darker, but you can see it's, it's in the shadow. So what would look nice? We have the light, we have the shadow, and it'd be nice to make a nice, how many times I'm gonna say nice? To make a rim light or an edge light. So it'd be like right at the rim, at the back of the character, all the way down here, because it's really dark, and then it will be really bright just a, a nice sliver. So when I want to do that, let's go back to the lights. We'll add a light. We'll change it to a spotlight because we don't want another sun type light. So we'll change it to a spotlight. Put it behind him. Yeah, it's probably easiest. So I put it behind him. Usually move it over a little bit. And then I spin it around till it's facing him. Yeah, something like that. Move it over a little bit more. 
So usually something like that is pretty good. So you can go back to your view or just go back to the front view. So now we have light, dark, and then light. And of course, wherever you move this, that makes a big difference. You can bring the intensity up a little bit if you want it brighter, you know, so you can kind of play around with that, see where you want it to go. Um, maybe you want this a little bit bigger to hit more of the character. So let's name that edge. So that's your edge light. Uh, and you can also set the shadow for softness. Um, I just do that kind of by habit now. So it's looking pretty good. And also I keep going back to the scene and this is great. Anytime you have like a, a, you put your character in a spot you like, just go up here and hit add view. And then you can rename it to whatever you want. So that's what I keep coming back to. But you have to make sure that you're in perspective or orthographic or whatever you, wherever you want it to be, that's what it goes back to. So just remember that. So now we'll add the last light and I like to do a top down light. So we'll do add uh, spotlight again. Let's go ahead and make it soft from the jump and let's rename it to, we'll just call it top so it's from the top down. Okay, so I like to add this light right over top of him and then coming straight down, maybe I'll raise it up a little bit. And you can kind of experiment with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move it. I change it so I can move these rings the way that I that I want. So something like that is good. I like to make this light a little bit cooler. So if you tap here, you can change the color of the light. I like to make a little cooler, just a little bit different than the other lights. So we'll go back to our view. Oh, our view is terrible. Let's change, let's make this our view. Update. Okay, so now we have our view here. And it looks pretty good. So also remember that you can change some of these lights. You can change the colors. You can take this light and add it like, uh, maybe over here behind him as well. Sort of similar to the other spotlight. That could also look cool. You can raise the intensity a little bit. So obviously there's tons of different ways you can set up the lights. Oh, I was trying to go to my layer. So there's tons of different ways you can set up the lights. I think that looks uh, pretty cool as well. Remember to turn on post-process uh, because that has an effect. Play with the ambient occlusion. Uh, usually it's pretty good once you have your scene in place. I usually don't have to mess around with this too much, but maybe you want you know the shadows to be lighter or darker or something like that. So you can mess around with those. Uh, also, before you export, always make sure that you have your render resolution all the way up. Uh, let me give this, let me give him a save. Uh, let's see, let's save. Um, and another thing uh, that I forgot to mention at the beginning, uh, sometimes I'll change the color of him. So sometimes it's nice. Just remember that you're lighting him and everything is white. He's all white. So that's going to affect how it looks as well. So if you decide to color him, uh, then you might have to adjust the lights because sometimes if you color him something darker or something like that, then the lighting can change. So just keep that in mind. Um, I actually, more than often than not, lately, I've been coloring the character from this color, kind of like a terracotta, terracotta color, which I just think looks nice. So lately I've been kind of doing it like that. And you can see now that the lights, they feel a little bit darker. Um, and another uh, the la last but not least, the other thing is you can bring your environment back, but you just have to adjust it. See right now, like this environment is, I think it's too bright. So I'll just adjust it a little bit and you can do this with any, any of the other ones too. Just adjust them. Uh, because they sort of fill in a lot of that ambient light so your character won't be as dark. But, uh, but I think this is pretty good. The only thing I might do is maybe lighten the key light. It looks a bit dark. So I might raise this a little bit because our model is darker. It makes a little bit more sense now. So that looks good. I might make this a little more blue. Raise the intensity a little bit. So just remember that the color of your character uh, makes a difference. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna do another video 
uh, with coloring. I'll show you how I would color him. And uh, and yeah, and we'll, I kind of like this short format, so I'll continue to do a lot of these sort of beginner series and just show how I do things because I mean, that's all I can do. I just, I just want my models to look good. I'm kind of obsessed and I really enjoy showing how I do things and it also explaining why I do things. So if you enjoy this, give it a like, give me a comment, let me know um, because I can do more. These are, these are shorter. Uh, I also have a tutorial coming out. Another tutorial is like a little, I uh, call him Baby Croc. Uh, I did the time lapse, so that'll be out soon. So make sure you subscribe and keep on the lookout for that full length tutorial that's going to be here on Nomad. And also check out my tutorials on Skillshare. I just made a new one uh, making shoes, making bands, uh, because I want to do some printing. So I need to make shoes for my characters. So then I can't, they can't all have these like block, uh, block slippers. But anyway, uh, hopefully that was useful. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.